Kavi, transcatheter aortic valve implantation refers to the treatment of aortic stenosis. When a person gets older, the valve undergoes degenerative changes. It means to say that the valve becomes hardened with calcium and it becomes narrowed and it cannot function well and the patient presents with breathlessness. In the past, traditionally it's been treated by the surgeons with open heart operation and the valve was replaced. But currently, there's an alternative without replacement through operation. We just do it from, most commonly, from the thigh. And this is uh, what we term it as TAVI. This is uh, in patients who are elderly and high risk, especially those with high risk for surgery. And uh, by doing so, the patient has got much less risk for the procedure. As an example, this is a patient who underwent uh, TAVI procedure. And just to focus, this is the device that was placed in the patient's body through the groin. And this will replace the native valve and then take over the function of that valve. Hi, this is our cath lab. This is where we perform procedures for our patients, usually under local anesthesia. We can perform angioplasty procedures for any vessels in the body especially the heart, the limbs or even the neck. Every patient is unique, but some cases are at higher risk or more complex. This could be elderly patients, patients with kidney failure, those who are having heart attacks. Sometimes the vessels are completely blocked or patients may have multi-vessel disease. But with a great team of people with the expertise and experience, with the right devices, we can make the difficult and complex a success. This is a great example of a vessel that is totally blocked but we're able to open up the vessel very well. As well as the vessels in the lower limb that was totally blocked, but they soon open up beautifully. In CVSKL, we perform complex cases. We are a referral center for, from other hospitals for difficult procedures. So therefore, we need to be equipped with every tool that is imaginable to, to make it safe for the patient to undergo the procedures here. And we are blessed to have such tools in this hospital. Uh, in addition to that, we also have tools to make sure that patients do not get unnecessary stents. An example will be uh, in a case like this, where you can see there appears to be a narrowing there, but in many occasions, we are unsure whether this narrowing is uh, really causing problem for the patient in terms of blood flow to the heart. So therefore, we use tools such as these, which allows us to make measurements. In this case, it appeared that the flow was good enough that avoided an unnecessary stent being implanted into, into this patient. Similarly, after a procedure, we also want to know if the whatever stent that has been implanted is well deployed, it is perfectly in place, and we use tools like this, which is an ultrasound into the small, tiny coronary arteries. And here we can see the stents are superbly deployed and therefore the result, the long-term results for the patients are very, very good. In some of the arteries, especially in the elderly patients with kidney failure, the arteries are hard, the blockages are very hard, full of calcium and a balloon cannot expand the narrowing. So we use special devices. For example, this is what we call an OAS arthrectomy device, which rotates at high speed and cuts through the calcium, allowing us to open up the artery effectively. This is an example of a patient whose artery is so calcified or hard, where no balloon can expand the narrowing and we use a tool called rotablator. Basically, it's a tool which is uh, implanted with multiple uh, diamond, tiny diamonds, and it rotates at almost 180,000 rounds per minute, then cutting through the, uh, the, the calcium or the heartbeat to allow us to uh, then easily pass a balloon and implant a stent. 